Today I'm be talking about the best status effects and type of suit, type of ranged weapon, and type of melee that you want. Now this is all based off only playing hard, but if you're playing on any difficulty, it's just going to become more OP than if you are playing on a higher difficulty. So first off, I just want to mention that if you're not already familiar, there is a basically God mode infinite ability. You're basically near God mode and you can get max ability whenever you want pretty much. So that combo is the Thrill Seeker suit and Regenerator Rounds. If you want to see more on that, you can check out my channel and search God Mode, Gotham Knights. So we're going to be talking about what is the best status effect for all of them. What is better, the Heroic Defensive mod or the Legendary Power and Health mod. How to increase your chance of applying these effects effects and a couple of other things so let's jump right into it so top choice number one for ranged weapons is electric rounds electric rounds when it applies has a blast radius in this game when you're generally uh having a rough fight enemies are grouped up now, it doesn't matter whether they're grouped up or if you're fighting the 1v1, electric is, well, fighting the 1v1, honestly, cryo would be best. But electric is a damn near close second. But for crowd control, electric way surpasses cryogenic rounds. Now, occasionally for a boss fight, like if you're fighting the boss freeze, then yes, flame. Certain situations, one will be better than the other. But bioelectric seems to work pretty good against everything and great against most things. Also, for 1v1s, it stuns hard, way hard enough where if you have a little bit of distance on that range, they're not even coming close to nailing you. Yes, if they have the armor mod, you might have to knock them down. Uh, but generally, even if you just keep shooting at something with an armor mod on it, you're going to stun it, and then you're going to do massive damage. Great for the assassins. This really shines overall against all enemies. Nothing really seems to be heavily resistant against electric rounds. Also, for one of the most annoying dudes, and in my opinion... Actually, the worst standard enemy non-boss to fight in the game, the drone dude. So when you shoot the drone dude, the or any of the drones are even remotely close to one of these uh, electric status effects, it takes out the drone. So that is another huge advantage of the electric rounds. Now... Cryo would be a close second as far as the most effective way to win the hardest battles because as enemies freeze, that's one more enemy that can attack. Flame, Toxic, Concussion, they're all good. Freeze keeps uh, enemies off the board from attacking you. One less thing that you have to evade or worry about so you can focus on other enemies or take that one out. Cryo is a close second. Then you got Flame and Toxic uh, pretty much tied for third. Concussive also um, about third tied for maybe slightly less. Because Cryo and Electric just way surpass Concussive rounds. Okay. So. Moving on to uh, Elemental Effect build up. That's what determines how quickly you apply the status effect. So if I was to take this uh, right here, actually I don't have that one crafted, but i um, waiting on a couple specific 40s. So if I was to take this right here and that's the suit. We'll take this one and we will apply mods. 
So critical chance is for doing damage. It does not affect your status at all. If you're going for a status build, you want generally three different ones that say elemental effect build up. You could do two elemental effect build up and one crit, but generally if you're going to go status, just go all out on elemental effect build up because that's what's going to be proccing most of your damage. So you want that to apply off like one to max a couple of shots. So while we're on the topic of mods, we're going to show this right here. And what is better, having power and defense off the heroic. And the easy way to get the level 40 heroic is just to do the caches, the Batman caches, after you hit level 40. You can get your level 30s if you do the Batman caches after you reach level 30. So 800 defense is slightly better than having the power and the health. You get almost as much power, you get slightly less than half the health, but that 800 defense or the 400 defense outweighs the health bonus. You are, you'll take a lot less damage on your hits. So versus having the higher health bar, I can take more hits with having 1600 de uh, defense than I could if I had the 400 health. So 100% the heroic power defense health is better. There might be one or two scenarios where the defense doesn't apply. It's really hard to actually test that. There's not enough data and on-screen information to actually see. But as far as I can tell, on all the heavy hits, my survivability is higher with having defense over having extra health. So, do your Batman caches at the end. So, lastly, just to touch on anybody still confused about this. In order to apply these status effects, like I said, you do need that Elemento build-up mod. If you just have a gun or a melee weapon that says Flame or Freeze and you don't have, like, pretty high Elemental build-up, you're just not going to apply that status effect at all or very often. Like when I do mine, when I was even at level 30 and I put three different 30 epics and then three different 30 legends on my elemental gun, I was proccing elementals like every second. Like it was just the fireworks show and crowds were melting. So for your melee it's pretty much the same thing because you either want them shocked or frozen. i probably say frozen is um, a little bit better on the melee. i would probably put them hand in hand tied. Concussion is actually gets a real step up in the melee as well. Because for melee, especially if you're playing like uh, one of the melee, ca more melee than gun then you will be able to grapple and i'm not sure how many moves are based around the grapple but if your character has a lot of moves based around the grab then concussive rounds would probably be ideal for you on melee but once again sadly flame and toxic as good as they are like this game you become so op once you get maxed out gear it's ridiculous like so op but yeah, um, the freeze and more so the electric for guns and probably concussion if you're more melee ability based and grab uh, grab moves and then electric and freeze probably tied hand in hand. Probably still take the freeze on the melee. But another thing to note is when you are like a mixed character like my character red hood is mostly guns but occasionally uses melee so 
you don't want to use two different types right now i have a god mode build on i have that video on my channel you can just search my channel for god mode uh gotham knights which is the thrill seeker suit and the regenerator rounds but if i was going to do say electric i want my melee electric and i want my ranged electric that way when i'm meleeing something i'm building up and even if i punch them once and i don't get that status effect right away the next time when i shoot them with my gun they already got all that build up so it's definitely proccing so you don't want to actually switch your you don't want to mix up your elements if you are a mixed character that occasionally shoots or occasionally melees and then primarily uses the other one or if you use half and half whatever just make sure that you're using the same on both for an optimal build and that is the top status effects for both ranged and melee also how to get your mods you know all, all the stuff i already talked about but um i think that is it on the topic if you still have any questions on it shoot it in the comments and i'll get back when i can I think i covered everything so i hope that helps